Uh, this is just a quick update from my video from a couple weeks ago about uh, my technique for uh, how to handle a hammer. So uh, in the comments section, uh, uh, one guy made a very good point or something that I felt like was not too logical, but I thought, well, I'll give it a try. Is, uh, and he was saying that when I want to insert the handle into the hammer to, uh, to not back it up on an anvil or something else and just do it free, you know, just do it in the air, just like this, you know, just get it in, you know, once you have it shaped basically how you want, you know, get it, just insert it in, hold by the handle and hammer, hammer the, the handle end and inertia should make it, make it, uh, seat properly. I just, it didn't seem very logical to me, but it would have some benefits because, you know, first off, if, if this is not backed up and then this wouldn't bottom out on me and then, you know, uh, uh, maybe mushroom this end or this end. And, you know, since I always recently, I like to make my hammer handles protrude a little bit. I don't have to back it up in any other way if I could do it just holding it while in midair. So when I just tried that and it worked really well, I was really surprised. So, you know, I got to say that, uh, you know, you learn something new every day. So I'll show you a clip right now of how I normally would do it uh, and, and then look at that. And then I'll, I'll come back and then I'll show you. I'll just uh, quickly tap this in and show you how that works. This is footage from my video of two weeks ago, which I didn't include in that video, and it just shows how I would normally insert the handle into a hammerhead. Want that to protrude a little bit. So you can see exactly right front to back, tight. The bottom's very tight all around, but side to side on the top, you can see. About a millimeter here, maybe a little more than a millimeter here. So when that's wedged, should hold it very tightly. So now let me get on to smoothing out the handle, and then we can put it on permanently. Okay, so uh, you know this is another hammer. Like I said, I was working on, or I am working on for a customer, and it's close to there, not quite done yet with the handle and the hammer. So let me just uh, give this a go and, and show you then. And by the way, the person who mentioned this is. Uh, his uh, uh, username is uh, proud to deviate. So I'm, I'm glad you deviated from the norm, you know, and give me another idea. So basically, I mean, this is what I gather he said, is just, you know, I just kind of push it in a little bit, and then uh, I just tap. You can see, it's already, look at it, it's already protruded that much. I don't know if you can see that. You know, I'm just holding it free in the, in the air here, and like he said, you know, just, it, it should walk up due to inertia. And then, you know, and then it has. So here's another quick close-up look of this. Really nice, excellent technique. So that saves me from having to back it up on something and, and possibly splitting the wood out or you know, maybe marring the anvil or the hammer from banging, you know, on top of the anvil face. So, yeah, it's an excellent idea. Like I said, you learn something new every day. You know, keep your mind open. And uh, this also proves that I've got the smartest viewers around. So, yeah, proud to deviate. Thanks a lot. Much obliged.